Hey, thank you so much for dropping by again for another episode of How to Podcast series, a series of podcasts designed to be small, bite-sized little pieces that help you in your podcast journey, whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this for a little while and you're just looking for a little bit of encouragement, some guardrails, maybe some advice, some help, some, some support. This is the How to Podcast series. So thankful that you can join us. Today, I want to look at five elements of a good podcast here on the How to Podcast series. Thanks for joining us. Here we go. So five elements of a good podcast. Why do we want a good podcast? Because a bad podcast or a non-existent podcast is just not in the cards for us. A good podcast will help us in the long run in building our business, building our community, building our coaching offers, whatever we have, building our hobby, building our passion. And uh, having a good podcast is a great tool in your tool belt to help you with your message and help reach an audience. So here we go. Five elements of a good podcast. Number one, focus on the message of your podcast. And that goes back to one of our early episodes on discovering your why and identifying that right from the beginning. But focus on the message. It's easy to get distracted and go in different directions, but your podcast listeners uh, are pretty faithful and committed to what you do and to you as a host. And they're showing up for you each week, each every second week, every day, every month, however you do your podcast release schedule. Your listeners are coming to connect with you. So focus on the message. What are you, what is, what is your message, big picture and individual picture for each episode? Focus on that and deliver on that message. Number two, serve your audience. They are coming to you because they have identified with you, your message, as we talked about. Now it's time to serve. And here we can get into ad placements and what's your point? Are you trying to sell something? Are you trying to sell your own stuff, your own programs and services? Is that why you have a podcast or are you here to serve? And in this, I would suggest if you are selling a product like a service, uh, knowledge-based coaching content, that you serve up your best to your audience for free. Give them a taste of what you have. You've got five things and you want to give them maybe one or two of those things and then have them join you for more through emails, whatever, however you want to do that. But serve your audience. Your audience needs to be your focus. Number three, show up and be consistent. Be very, goes back to your why again, but go back to the beginning and figure out, okay, how often am I showing up for my audience? that I'm here to focus and serve. How often am I showing up weekly, daily, every second week, every second day, once a month, and be consistent with what you've built. It's always easier to add, it's harder to take away. So think of that. If you think you're gonna start with a daily podcast and run it for 10 years, might be a little difficult. So focus on what you can do comfortably now and as your show grows it grows and you can look at it down the road but be consistent show up be there that's how we avoid pod fade that's how we avoid being inconsistent and off the radar so number four go to familiar spaces in your podcast go to the places where your listener is showing up for that are looking to be served and they're in the focus of your message. Go to that place where your podcast listener expects you to go. And that could be in how you structure your content, how you structure your episodes, so that you're not doing something different every single day, every single episode, and throwing them off. Podcast listeners are creatures of habit. I am. I listen to many, many great podcasts. And uh, I look for those things that bring me back. And really, it is connecting with the host. It's great that you have guests on. I love hearing your guests. 
but I really want to hear from you. You're the, you're the reason I'm coming. I can go listen to those guests somewhere else. I'm coming back to hear you. So let's, let's connect. Let's do this. And the last one, number five, don't fake anything in your podcast journey. The whole fake it till you make it um, mantra that goes around in podcasting. I've heard podcasters say, you know, lie about your numbers. Uh, go ahead, over-exaggerate, and uh, because no one can really see, and it's really hard to measure, really hard to have a concrete number. F lie to sponsors and tell them you have more listeners than you do. Tell people you're in more countries than you are. Tell people you're in more cities than you are. You have more active people listening to your podcast. And that is, that's A, it's hurtful to other podcasters who are being truthful and slugging it out and seeing numbers that don't reflect what we air quote say the norm is because we hear it from so many sources. And B, you're lying to your audience. And you're lying, number C, I guess C, you're lying to yourself that you are bigger, better, and stronger than you really are. Don't fake anything. Don't fake interest in a guest. Don't fake interest in your audience. Don't fake interaction on social media with your audience. Don't fake anything. I'm doing a call out for podcasters to be completely real, transparent. You have 20 downloads on your episode and you're happy with that. Be happy with that. This whole thing about having to reach this magic number to put you up in the top charts. You've lost your audience right there. Focus on the message. Serve your audience. Show up and be consistent. Go to the places your, your listeners are expecting you to go. And do not fake a single thing about who you are, how you interact, and who you serve. If any of this helps and you're thinking, you know what, I'd really like to, I'd really like to talk to Dave and bounce some ideas off of you. Or Dave, I'm looking for a community of podcasters who are in the same boat that I am in, whether I'm just starting out or I'm new to podcasting and I need some support. Do you have anything? Yes, we do. And it's free. You can reach out to me and uh, through the podcast show notes there, you'll see all my links. Let's chat. We do have a podcast community that we're building and we love to introduce you to other podcasters who are doing the thing and living their podcast life. Let's do it together. Why should you do this by yourself? I don't, I don't. I think you really need a community around you. It'll help you go further, faster. And uh, that's what we're here for. So thank you for listening to the How to Podcast series. More episodes coming. And let's build your community. Let's build your podcast. Let's show up for each other. Our focus is on you. We're here to serve consistently. We're going to take you to places you're expecting to go. Because none of us are fake. Have a great day.